Today we're going to install a Super Brace fork stabilizer on this 2007 GL1800 motor trike conversion. The tools needed for this job are a ratchet, a 5mm Allen socket, a 12mm socket, a Phillips screwdriver, and a torque wrench. Make sure the front wheel is facing straight ahead. Next, using a 5mm Allen wrench or Allen socket, remove the four 5mm bolts that hold the front fender in place. Take note that the lower fender bolt is a little bit longer and has a rubber washer. You'll need to know this when you go to reinstall the fender. With the bolts removed, you can now lift the fender off and set it aside. Next, remove the two 5mm Allen bolts that are holding the fork cover in place. There's a small plastic push pin on top of the cover that must be released before the cover can be removed. Now you can remove the dust cover and set it off to the side. We won't be reinstalling this. Using the four small screws provided, attach the lower dust covers to the bottom of the super brace using a Phillips screwdriver. Before installing the super brace, we need to separate the two halves by removing the four 5mm Allen bolts that hold it together. At the bottom of each front fork, you'll notice two axle pinch bolts. We're going to loosen these using a 12mm socket. Do not remove the bolts, just loosen all four of them. Now we're ready to line up the front half of the super brace on the fork tubes. You'll notice how the top of the super brace will line up with the top edge of the fork tube. With the front half in position, you want to carefully place the back half of the super brace uh, through any cables or wires so that it fits flush against the front half of the super brace. Now we're ready to install the four 5mm bolts that we removed earlier so that the two halves of the super brace connect. Hand tighten it first and then using a torque wrench and a 5mm Allen socket torque each one of these four bolts to 10 foot pounds. Next, bounce the front end of the trike several times. Make sure there's no hoses or cables in a bind. It's very important that you tighten all four of the axle pinch bolts and torque each one to 16 foot pounds. You're now ready to reinstall your front fender and don't forget to replace all four of the five millimeter Allen bolts that hold the fender in place.